A man is charged with crimes against a child in two different states over a decade after the crime took place. And allegedly, the Christmas Behind Bars ministry played a part in his staying free for so long. In February 2023, a woman came forward to the Randolph County Sheriff's Office in Pocahontas, Arkansas, to tell police about the abuse that her father subjected her to so many years earlier. So this woman came forward and said that her father had been molesting her since she was a young child back whenever they lived in Missouri. First, they lived in Missouri, and then they moved to Ravenden Springs, Arkansas. According to the victim, when her family lived in Ravenden Springs, Arkansas, she was about 16 years old, and her father, Raymond Hostetler, would take her out on the tractor and show her how to use the tractor and bell hay. That's such a wholesome, fatherly thing to do, honestly, except for in this case, her father was having her set on his lap and fondling her. The victim told police about one time where her father took her to his truck, laid her on her back in the back seat, pulled her underwear down, leaned over her, and put his finger in her. When she reacted out of shock and tried to get away from him, he laughed and said, it was just my finger. Isn't that cute? <laughs> He's just a rapist. I would assume that the girl's mother and father were together when all of this was happening, but her mother just didn't know. She said at one point her mother went to Missouri to take care of her grandmother, and while she was in Missouri, the victim literally had to lock her bedroom door so that her father could not come in and touch her while she was sleeping. He also would chase her around and try to catch her to fondle her. Like it's just a sick game to him. The victim also told police that her father, Raymond Hostetler, kept asking her to take a bath with him, but she was able to escape. Now, you might ask yourself, why didn't the victim come forward at any time when all of this was happening, which she estimated to be 2010 and before? According to my understanding, it looks like the victim said she did report it to church officials in 2010, and she planned to report it to police, but church officials contacted Lemuel Vega from Christmas Behind Bars and told the victim that she would be receiving a call. Now, when she received the call from, I guess, Lemuel Vega, she was basically told or encouraged to not go to police. So after that happened, she had been keeping all of this inside, just stuffed inside of her. But she started seeing a therapist and was finally able to verbalize these things that happened to her when she was young. Now, I am not saying that the victim got a phone call from Lemuel Vega directly, but according to what she is saying, she allegedly received a call at least from his organization. And you might look that up on Google. I did, but I will leave it to each one of you to look it up if you don't know what that is and you want to know who Lemuel Vega is or what Christmas Behind Bars is. Early in 2023, Raymond Hosteller was arrested and charged with child molestation in Cooper County, Missouri. He was actually out on a $100,000 cash bond when he was arrested in Arkansas. In Arkansas, in Randolph County, Raymond Hosteller was charged with grape and incest. It does look like in the state of Arkansas, Raymond Hosteller was arrested and released on a $25,000 bond and he was court ordered to wear an ankle monitor. Now, Raymond Hostetler also filled out a form for indigency. He was found to not be indigent, but on that form, he did indicate that he has 10 children, the youngest being 13 years old, who's still living in the home, and he is married. And with there being 10 children, I am interested to see if any other children eventually come forward with allegations of abuse. Of course, that's not mandatory. One child out of 10 could be the only one to be abused or the only one to come forward with abuse, and that's okay too. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes people a long time to come forward for many different reasons. 
I will continue to update as more information becomes available in this case. As of right now, Raymond Hostetler had court last week. He does not have court again until January 3rd, 2024. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.